What's up everybody, welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm walking through the Hyperice app. Hyperice recently released their Hyperice app, which is a smartphone app that connects via Bluetooth to several of their devices. Along with the app, we also learned of the Hypervolt Plus with Bluetooth and the Hypervolt with Bluetooth, which are both currently the only devices that they have with the Bluetooth connectivity. I do have the Hypervolt with Bluetooth here today, so I'm gonna be using that for the purposes of this video to walk through the app and test out some of the capabilities and functions of the app. Now the app is currently only available in the Apple App Store. I have gone ahead and downloaded it and from this point forward in the video, I'm gonna switch over to a screen share so you guys can actually see what I'm looking at as I go through the app. So the first thing you'll see when you open the app is they give you the opportunity to turn on notifications to get warm up, recovery and maintenance routine reminders. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off for right now which is then gonna take me directly to their homepage. At the top of the homepage, you're gonna see a few different videos regarding the history of Hyperice You'll then see some routines based on activity. And then the next section you'll see is a section called the HyperSmart Score. This is a new piece of technology that Hyperice has developed. Essentially, it's their way of gamifying recovery. The HyperSmart Score is a metric that they've developed to encourage consistent and appropriate use of their devices. In order to actually get a HyperSmart Score, you do need to integrate it with either Strava or Apple Health. Unfortunately for users like me, I wear a Whoop every single day. That doesn't currently integrate with the app, but it's something that I'm hopeful will happen in the near future. And essentially it, the app takes that HyperSmart score to recommend routines to you based on your activity. The next thing you'll see is a list of their products. Um, of those products, the only devices that there currently is routines for are the HyperVolts, the HyperSphere's, and the Viper Vibrating Foam Roller. Uh, and with that, the only ones that currently are able to be controlled by the app are the Hypervolt Plus with Bluetooth and the Hypervolt with Bluetooth. And then lastly, you'll see some news as it relates to Hyperice. Doesn't look like there's any particular order to this news. Uh, it kind of jumps around in, in dates, but uh, you, know, you do see the information regarding the new announcement of the uh, partnership with the NBA, um, a few other new partnerships that they've announced. And then at the very bottom is really where most people are gonna go right away, and that's to the routines and body. So when you select into routines, you're gonna have the same routines that were recommended for you on the homepage. So I'll just show that here quick. So these routines that were recommended at the top of the homepage are the same routines that it recommends once you click at routines in the bottom. And then down below, you can actually click on all routines. Now Hyperice breaks down all routines into three different categories. You have warm up, recovery, and maintenance. And specifically for the Hypervolt, within the warm up, we have 15 different routines total. Nine of these are specific to the Hypervolt. And in all of these routine sections, you can click in the top right of your app and actually filter by device, uh, activity type, muscle group, and uh, expert routines. So uh, I'm gonna be using the Hypervolt with Bluetooth, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that right now and then go back to apply. So in warm up, you see here the nine different routines that are specific to the Hypervolt. I'm gonna just turn off that filter here quickly just so I can show all the routines. Next, I'm gonna to go to recovery. In recovery, they have 25 different routines total. Of those 25 routines, 16 of them are specific to the Hypervolt. And the ones that aren't specific to the Hypervolt, again, are gonna be the Hypersphere and the Viper. And then lastly, under maintenance, they have 17 different routines. Of those 17, 11 of them are specific to the Hypervolt. Now I mentioned of all these routines, the only ones, uh, the only devices that you can use that actually are controlled by the app are the Hypervolt with Bluetooth and the Hypervolt Plus with Bluetooth. You certainly can still use any of these other devices and go through the routines. The app just won't control it for you. So again, for the purpose of this, I wanna just select uh, the Hypervolt. I do also wanna select, uh, for example here, I'm gonna select glutes and legs, and then hit apply in the top right. And in maintenance, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and select the ultimate glide flow to show as an example. Once you have a routine selected, what it is is essentially a linked together group of programs specific to whatever area you're trying to target. So this routine specifically has six programs 
this one has quads, hamstrings, glutes, IT band and hip, lower back, neck and traps. For each of these, it tells you how long that program is. So for quads, you'll see it's four minutes and eight seconds. It recommends that you sit on a chair. And then on the right side, it, it tells you which tip you're gonna need while you are utilizing that. When you're ready to begin the routine, you can go ahead and select start routine. Now, when you are ready to start, you do need to make sure that you have your device turned on so that it can recognize it uh, when it's searching for it via Bluetooth. You then need to select scan for devices. It's gonna begin scanning and as soon as it links up with your device, it'll start a five second countdown. And as it gets to the end of that countdown, you'll see right here, it's gonna take over starting the device. So there we go, it starts off on low intensity and then you just follow along with the video. So the girl is slowly going up and down her quads. So I'm just gonna follow along as best as I can watching to see where she's putting the device. Now you see at the very bottom of the screen, it'll tell you the type of intensity that it's currently using. And as the app transitions intensities, it will take over the device and just guide you through that routine. So you don't need to touch anything. All you need to do is just guide your device to the part that you're trying to target. Now, you do have the opportunity to, and there it goes, it just turned to medium. Now you do have the opportunity to turn the auto functionality off. So I can turn that off and manually select the intensity. So right now it's on medium. If I wanted it to go up to high, I just need to slide it. And then if I wanted to turn manual off and go back to auto, I just hit that button and it's gonna automatically take it back to where it needs to be in the routine, which in this case is that medium intensity. Now this first part is a four minute and eight second routine. So since this is relatively long, I am just gonna go ahead and fast forward through this section. I do wanna show what a transition between the sections of the routine look like, um, but I don't wanna put everybody through the next three minutes of this routine until we get to that point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward here. And as it does start to get near the end of the routine here, I just wanna show that you do have the capability of pausing it at any point. It will stop your device and you can simply resume it and it'll turn it right back on. So we've got uh, about 10 seconds left in the routine here. Once this ends, it's gonna take you to the transition period. If there's any situation where you're supposed to either stand up, change positions or change the attachment head, that's gonna be the time you have to do it. Now it does only give you five seconds so for the hamstrings here, I am gonna now have to stand up, same attachment, and then just, you can go ahead into the next section. So that's what a routine looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and end this routine and go back to the home screen and then just show uh, the body section at the bottom of the app. So in the body section, it's gonna bring up uh, you know, some anatomy here and you can select either the front or the back. And again, similar to, uh, I'm gonna select glutes here, or actually I'll select on the front. I'm gonna select quads. You then search for all exercise and programs that have the quads. Now again, the first thing that comes up here, these are not all hypervolt. These are gonna be all different devices. So at the top, you can filter by the device you're using. And just similar to the routines, you can select one individual program. It tells you how long it is. This one, it's saying for the quads, lay on your stomach. It's two minutes and 45 seconds. You can hit start, and actually this is the hypersphere, so it looks like that filter didn't work. Let me just, oh, I forgot to apply it. So you need to make sure you hit apply on the top right. And so there you see there's three programs for the quads specifically with the hypervolt. I'll select quads focus. This is just gonna be one program again, sitting on a chair. Same thing, you need to select scan for devices. As soon as it finds the device, you'll get a five second countdown and then it will take over running the device. And there you see it there. So I'm just gonna pause this and close out of it. And then the last section is just a profile section. This is where any information related to your hyper smart score, um, it'll give you some information on your routines, your most used devices, your daily activity. And again, this is gonna be dependent on what you have connected. So 
In terms of Apple Health, I just have my steps being tracked, but if you have Strava, you can certainly get some more information. If you have other information being tracked by our iPhone and Apple Health, that's gonna show here as well. And that's ultimately what's gonna lead to that HyperSmart score. So that's a quick walkthrough of the app. Um, a few criticisms that I'll offer just in the little bit that I've used it for a few different routines. Um, all the hypervolts now have a pressure sensor on it. I think they missed a big opportunity to include that pressure sensor in those routines just to help guide you. Um, it's something that the TheraBody app with the TheraGun does include, and it just helps to teach you if you're using the right amount of pressure. Hyperice, you've got the pressure sensor. Why not integrate that in there? Make sure we're using it just so we know if we're applying the right amount of pressure in the different areas. Secondly, I think it does a poor job in guiding you on pace. So other than just having to watch and copy where the person is going in the video, it doesn't necessarily tell you how fast you should be going up and down your leg or across the muscle. Um, so it'd help if it said, you know, go up and down your arm in you know, two second circles or something. So you know it's two seconds down, two seconds back, rather than having to stare at the screen the entire time. It's a small thing, but I think it's something that a lot of people would benefit from, just some additional coaching to help guide you through those routines. I think with the routine specifically, I don't think there's enough time between the program transition, especially for the ones that you need to change out the attachment. So none of the examples that I show required that. Um, but for example, if I needed to go from the flathead attachment to the fork attachment in five seconds, that's not really much time. I'm gonna end up having to pause it anyways to do so, especially if I have to then go from a chair to the ground um, I think if they just had some more time there to help assist with that. Also, it doesn't tell you what attachment you need in that transition period. So when you initially select the routine, it shows you all the attachments, but once the routine started, it doesn't tell you what the next attachment head that you're gonna need is. So it'd be helpful if it told you that. Uh, and then lastly, again, just as, this is just a personal thing for me, but I wear a Whoop every single day. I, I'm tracking a lot of that information already as it relates to my recovery, my strain, my sleep. I wish we had the opportunity to integrate that into the Hyperice app. Unfortunately, we just have Apple Health and Strava for right now, but Hyperice, this is just my, my plead for you. I hope that's something you're considering. Whoop, if you're watching, I hope it's something you're considering. I do think it would be a benefit. The Whoop has become very, very popular in the recovery space. So I think a lot of people are wearing them and would enjoy that capability to integrate. And maybe even some of the other things out there, you know, with a, a Fitbit or some of the things like that. Uh, I think just the more opportunities we have to track that information, the better. But that is a first walkthrough of the Hyperice app. If you do have any questions specifically, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Otherwise, feel free to download it and explore it yourself. If you do have something specific that you can't find or can't figure out, I'd be happy to try to help. Uh, but otherwise, that is a walkthrough of the app. Thanks for watching.